um this particular interfaces like uh the inter- this interface in vlan 2 as well as um the flow 2s in place in vlan 2 this makes them belonging to a separate network so only uh, floor 1 and floor 2 can now talk that which is 8 not through dot 11a so this channel uh, it was uh, released this and uh, those who have questions may unmute your audio and you can ask with uh, this hello yes hello good morning ma'am yeah good morning ma'am i have a question like you were discussing about the active scanning and the passive scanning right yes Uh, what is the scenario under which you go for a active scanning or passive scanning or is it a choice that whatever we like we can go ahead with it okay sure so active scanning and passive scanning is not uh, what we are deciding uh, from our uh, perspective uh, this is not an engineer or a, that would go on and select what scanning method of scanning that i need to work on so this all comes into the wireless nic cards so when we are uh, b- by default the passive scanning work and all the streams are independent of each other in tcp if one particular packet is lost it is impossible for the rest of the packets to continue moving uh, on because uh, reliability so if one is lost you need to make sure that every that the lost packet has been retransmitted Yes, and these are the various options. Yes, okay. so, so I'm using group concat to retrieve all the all the table names. Okay, all the name of the table that is present in the particular database. For that uh, reason, I'm using this group of concat query. This is this is just a SQL query. You can build build your own query. So oh, in order to cater these uh, IoT devices, the 5G needs to be uh, uh, seamlessly with the great speed. So, and also the 5G should be able to uh, uh, scale a huge number of devices with the uh, increasing with the increase in IoT and uh, and the customer base. The IoT needs to cater a large number of devices. Okay, so uh, with this seamless connection and all. Uh, failure is not an option for the 5G. Routing protocol make communication happen, um, and there are multiple routing protocols which you might want to go over. Um, so uh, I'm ready to take on uh, any questions that you have. It can be related to the slide or anything uh, related networking in general or. Uh, any does any questions related to networking industry in general hello hello sir yeah uh, sir this is rahul from uh, rajalakshmi institute of technology mm-hmm. uh, sir actually my doubt is that uh, i think in india whether ipv6 is uh, implemented or not because still we are seeing all ipv4 addresses mm-hmm. so that is uh, that is mm-hmm. actually uh, when we get into the computer settings somewhere we can see that uh, ipv6 address as well yeah so the, the your first assumption that ipv6 addresses are not used in india i don't think it's true because a uh, lot of places they are they are using ipv6 addresses because ipv4 addresses basically are like in in uh, depleting Uh, and uh, they are uh, and they are not able to reuse it. So there are there are a lot of places that they are, that uh, they are they are using IPv6 addresses. Most of the hosts I have IPv6 addresses as well. 